Let's take a look at grouped data. So first of all, let's have a look and refresh ourselves on tally charts. Let's say I wanted to know the age of everyone who attended a football match and I was standing at the turnstiles asking each person who came in how old they were, then I would probably do a tally chart like this. Now, the most important thing for me is that my age categories do not overlap. Now, it's up to me how I would do these categories. You might want to do 0 to 20, 21 to 40. It depends on how many groups you want. It would be a bit silly to do 0 to 1, 2 to 3, 4 to 5, because then you'd just have a crazy number of rows here. Um, and well, the whole point of grouping data is to try and group it into a manageable number of groups. So I think if you're thinking about ages of human beings, let's say 0 to 80, 0 to 90, maybe 0 to 100, you don't want to be breaking it down into, into five year categories. And besides, do you really care if someone's in the 30 to 35 compared to the 35 to 40 when you could just clump them all in the 30 to 40 age category? But the most important thing is that the categories do not overlap. So you can't have an age category that is zero to 15 and have another age category that is 10 to 20, because if you are 12 years old, you belong to two categories. So notice here that there is no overlap between the age categories. Age, what is the maximum age of a human being? Well, obviously no human being can ever be 150. So for that final one, we could have put 76 to 150, but because there's technically no maximum, it's probably easier just to say 76 plus or 76 or over. Now, what we could be doing as each member of the public comes through the turnstiles at the football match, and I ask them how old they are. If that person replies 16, I'll do a tally mark. If the next person says 32, I'll do a tally mark. And once I've built up four in one category, the next one will be a diagonal strike because we're going to group them in batches of five because one because it's much easier to count this as 12 5 10 12 than it would be to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 that's very difficult to count whereas this is dead easy to count so when we do tally charts we batch them into groups of five so for example in the 0 to 9 category 5 10 that is 13 and often with tally charts we'll put a frequency column to the right so that we can turn the tallies into numbers so that is four that is six that's six that's two that's two and again notice numbers of aces uh, there's no overlap in the categories and again there's the option for 41 plus going up to infinity really presumably there is a maximum theoretical number of aces that a tennis player can serve in a game in a match but we don't really care what that number is so we'll just stick at 41 plus again key thing is we've broken it into groups that don't overlap we've got some tally marks and then we've got a frequency column just to turn them into numbers that have meaning when we're displaying group data the key things to bear in mind are breaking it down into categories it's up to you how many categories there are you want it to be a manageable number the categories cannot overlap and if there is no maximum then the final category needs to be 71 or over or 71 plus or whatever you decide the uh, the starting point is going to be for that final category you might want to have tally marks but then you're going to have a frequency uh, number alongside now when we're plotting this i would probably plot this as a bar graph so the bars will correspond to the age categories of 0 to 10 11 to 18 19 to 35 and this will go along the bottom now these bars will be of equal width and there will be an equal width an equal um, width space in between each bar as well probably the most important consideration is going to be the scale of the vertical axis here now we just need to look at the the maximum value which is 13 so it'd be a bit daft if this scale went all the way up to 100 I would take it to just beyond 13 so take it to 14 or 15 maybe 20 but even 20 seems a bit over the top because you're just going to have a lot of wasted space there so here we have it so we've got our these categories here correspond to the categories that we've written in in here and again there's no overlap with the ages notice how all the bars are two grid lines wide 
and notice how in between each bar there is a gap of one square and the most important thing is that the tops of the bars correspond to our frequency numbers here so 0 to 10 is 5 0 to 10 5 11 to 18 7 19 to 35 is 11 that's correct 36 to 55 is 13 that's correct 56 to 70 is 8 and the 71 or over is 1.